Welcome back to Roto City Tech. I am Hank. We are out in the driveway today because we are going to do a little unboxing of this Gasland Outdoors heater. So Gasland Outdoors sent this out to me. So thank y'all so much for that. And this is just a little propane heater that you can have out on your patio or in your backyard, maybe in your garage, as long as you have a little bit of ventilation and stuff. You should be good, but with the weather turning and it getting cooler here in Texas, this is going to be a cool thing to have out on our patio so we can still utilize that space even though it's getting a little cooler in the evenings. And it'll be nice to go out there and not be sweating so bad like we did all summer and we can enjoy that coolness and still keep toasty. Anyways, my wife's going to love this a lot more probably than I do. But let's get this opened up, test it out. So here is their portable cabinet heater, I believe is what they call it. And I chose the red color. I think everybody probably knows by now how much I love red color. So pretty simple little deal. I'll put the link in the description below so that if you choose to pick one of these up, you can. I haven't even read the instructions yet, but pretty simple to see here. We've got <clears throat> just these two controllers here, and then your igniter button. Back here, we've got our connector for the propane. This looks like it flips down, so we'll be able to uh, house your propane tank. So I gotta go grab one of those. Pretty simple setup there. Just connected your gas line there. Put on that little um, back plate. Folded down the little tray down there. So the instructions do say that there's locks on these casters that you can push to keep it from rolling around. So be sure if you want to do that. But now we're going to move on to lighting this thing. So I'm going to turn on my gas. Make sure you listen and smell for any leaks. They say to wait for five minutes whenever you turn this valve on and make sure you don't smell or hear anything. So we're gonna leave that rolling for a little bit. All right, so we got no leaks here. The next thing you wanna do if this is a brand new bottle or if you have unhooked it, you need to press this down for 30 seconds. See how that depresses there? And that just kind of pre-lights everything. It gets any air out of the system so that it is just pure gas whenever you get ready to light. So when we get ready to light, we're going to hold this down and we're going to press our ignite button right here as well. And then once we get it lit, we're going to keep this held down for 30 seconds because that says it will heat up the thermocoupler. And then you can let go and you can adjust the temperature. So now that we've got that, what we want to do so I'm probably gonna just set up the camera, but you wanna depress this and turn to pilot, and then we light that and we keep this depressed. Once that is lit, then you can turn it, you can let go and turn this to the, to the, the range if you want low, medium, or high. Okay, I believe the pilot is lit. 
So I'm going to keep this held down. Just got to remember if it's the first time you're using the thing, it might take quite a few clicks to get that to go. It's definitely lit. And now the three different settings on this will light different combination of these three plates in here. So on low it's just this, on medium it lights two, and on high it lights all three plates. So now I'm going to twist that dial and go to my different levels. When it comes time to adjust your knob here, you just you don't depress it all the way. To get it from pilot, you got to just push it down a little bit and then you can twist. So you just push it down a little bit and then you can twist to the next setting. So now we're on high. So we should be, all three panels should be, oh yeah, that's putting off a lot of heat there. You obviously can't see because it's kind of sunny, but I mean you can feel this. That's a lot of heat there. So that's a super simple video, unboxing and setting up your Gasoline Outdoors cabinet heater. This thing is going to be really awesome, like I said, out on the patio. Uh, I could put it in my shop when I'm working on the teardrop this winter because it gets real cold in there and all I have is a little electric heater. So I could crack open the uh, garage door, throw this in there where it's still able to ventilate, and then let this thing just heat up the shop because, I mean, that's putting off some really good heat. So thank you so much, Gasland. This is going to be an awesome addition to everything we have. And uh, yeah, you're going to probably see it in some teardrop videos this, this winter. But be sure to follow us on Instagram, on Facebook, at Roto City Tech. And of course, here on YouTube, like, subscribe to the videos.